Airbus and Boeing have been dominating the market for passenger aircraft with a range of more than 1,600 nautical miles and 150 seats in recent years. This situation will stay the same in the foreseeable future. This video gives an overview of the aircraft that Airbus and Boeing currently produce and in the coming years. Single Isle Aircraft The A320 had its maiden flight in 1987 and is the best-selling aircraft type from Airbus. The aircraft has two engines, a wingspan of 111 foot 10 inches, a length of 123 foot 3 inches and can carry up to 180 passengers. The stretched version is the Airbus A321. This aircraft has a length of 146 foot and is about 20 foot longer than the A320. It can carry up to 236 passengers. For both aircraft types, Airbus still has a significant order backlog. The new development of the A320 family has the extension NEO for new engine option. Two different engine types are offered, the LEAP from CFM International and the PW1100G from Pratt & Whitney, which is equipped with a revolutionary reduction gear. Aircraft with this engine type are particularly economical and quiet. The A320neo had its maiden flight in 2014. The A320neo family aircraft are equipped with characteristic shark looks which improve the aerodynamics of the wing. The shark looks, however, have been applied to later conventional A320s as well so that the Neo can be recognised, especially by the larger engines. To the A320neo family belong the A319neo and A321neo. The A319neo can carry up to 160 passengers, the A320neo up to 195 and the A321neo up to 240. There will also be the version A321neo LR which is equipped with additional fuel tanks and has a range of up to 4,000 nautical miles, so flights across the Atlantic are possible. The first delivery is scheduled for 2019. The Boeing 737 is a bestseller in the market segment of single aisle aircraft too. The original Boeing 737 first flew in 1967. Since then, the aircraft has been continuously developed. The types 737-700 800 and 900 ER belong to the so-called next generation and are still in production for some time. The 700 can carry up to 149 passengers, the 800 up to 189 and the 900 ER up to 220. Boeing has received a total more than 5,000 orders for the 800. The answer from Boeing to the A320neo family is the 737 MAX with the versions 7, 8, 200 and 9. The lengths and seats correspond to the 700, 800 and 900 ER types of the next generation series. The 737 MAX 200 has the same length as the MAX 8 but has an emergency exit more and can carry up to 200 passengers as the name already suggests. The wingspan of the Generation Max increases by 5 foot and its characteristic winglets make it easily recognisable. There are also plans for a further stretch 737 Max. Aircraft with two aisles Boeing relies on a proven design with the 737. By contrast, the 787 is a high-tech aircraft. 
Lightweight composite materials instead of metal, air conditioning without bleed air from the engines, sophisticated aerodynamics, these are some of the highlights. Characteristic are the chevron nozzles, the serrations of the engines. Theoretically, this aircraft's fuel consumption is as low as 6 miles per gallon per passenger. There are the versions 8, 9 and 10. Depending on the cabin configuration, there is space for up to 400 passengers and more. The airplane has been designed for long distances and has a range of up to 7,500 nautical miles. The aircraft types from Airbus and Boeing are no clear competitors above the A320 and 737 families. Classic Airbus A330 has no direct Boeing competitor. The first flight of the A330 was in 1992 and the aircraft is still very popular with the airlines. The version 200 can carry up to 406 passengers, the version 300 up to 440. For the A330-300, Airbus still has a significant order backlog. Due to the demand, Airbus has decided to develop a Neo version of the A330, like the aircraft manufacturer did with the A320 family. The fuselages basically remain the same, but the wingspan increases by a whopping 12 foot by large sharklets on the wingtips. Together with further improvements, the operating costs are supposed to be 10 to 15% lower compared to the classic A330 versions. The A330 800 Neo replaces the classical version 200. The A330 900 Neo replaces the version 300. With all the improvements, the A330-900neo is even a competitor to another Airbus, the A350-900. The Airbus A350 has been developed in response to the Boeing 787 and uses a lot of new technologies too. This type of aircraft is produced in the versions 900, 900 ULR for ultra long range and 1000. The aircraft is bigger than the Boeing 787. Only the biggest Boeing 787, the 10 and the smallest Airbus A350, the 900 as seen here in the picture, may be regarded as competitors. The version 900 ULR is equipped with additional fuel tanks and has a remarkable range of more than 9,000 nautical miles and 19 hours flight time. Thus, for example, non-stop flights London to Sydney or Singapore to New York can be scheduled. The A350-1000 has a wingspan of 212 foot 5 inches and a length of 242 foot and is the largest twin-engine Airbus. There are also plans for a further stretched A350. The Boeing 777, commonly called the 777, is the largest passenger aircraft with two engines on the market. The version 300ER is equipped with the General Electric GE90 115B. The engine produces a thrust of more than 110,000 pound force, which is roughly calculated more than 100,000 horsepower per engine, mind you. The aircraft can carry over 500 passengers. Very characteristic is the main landing gear. Each side has six wheels. The production of the 777 continues. From the end of the decade onwards, new versions will be delivered to the airlines. There will be the versions 8 and 9. 
The Boeing 7778 has a range of over 9,000 nautical miles and is a competitor to the Airbus A350-1000. With version 8, ultra-long routes are possible. Version 9 has, as version 8, a wingspan of 235 foot 5 inches, however a length of 251 foot, making it the longest airliner. Impressive also the engines from General Electric, which have a diameter of 11 foot 2 inches and thus the largest diameter of all ever built engine types. The airplane has no direct competitor from Airbus and is rather designed to replace existing Boeing 747 fleets. The Boeing 7478 completes the overview of the current Boeing passenger aircraft. The newest jumbo jet is struggling in the market. At least the freighter version is reasonably successful. The 7478 has a further stretched fuselage compared to the 747 predecessors and the passenger version accordingly has an extended upper deck with a characteristic hump. The cabin can be equipped with up to 605 passenger seats. The four engines have chevron nozzles, the wings no classical winglets anymore. So the 7478 is relatively easy to recognise. Move on to the largest aircraft in this overview, the Airbus A380. A wingspan of 261 foot 10 inches, two complete passenger decks, up to 853 passenger seats, maximum takeoff weight of far over 1 million pounds. These are all superlatives in commercial aviation. The A380 will keep this position in the next years.